Hey guys, I am out here at one of the trucks right now. The customer went ahead and approved the repairs, but one of the things I want to show you that it might be a little difficult to see because I got it on the front facing camera instead of the other side, but I'll try to get it in here. I may not be able to, um, is I recommended torque rod replacement. And one of the first signs of torque rod failure is you might feel a little walk in the rear end or something that's not as tight as normal. Um, that torque rod fastens the rear end to a fixed point and stops it from walking around on you. So the bushings in them like to dry rot and they like to wear. And one of the first indications is this here. I'm trying to get down in here where you can see. This bushing will start to dry rot in this torque rod. And it'll start to wear more on one side than the other. But when it does that, it'll kick the rod a certain way. And it'll start to wear out this other side. And I'm not sure if you can see back in here, but you see this this little piece of rubber that I'm pulling out right here? That's the bushing actually coming out of the torque rod, and it's straight metal on metal now, and there's no more bushing there. And now this rear end is starting to walk back and forth a little bit. The customer said he did notice a little bit of excessive play, and I found it, and this is where it's coming from. This this rod is walking back and forth in the back of this semi. This torque rod needs to be replaced. Another thing is a lot of guys don't know how to do proper clutch adjustment in these trucks and this is a 2006 international and you check your pedal free play so we got i don't know about an inch inch and a quarter here the free play feels good but there's an adjustable rod linkage that goes here and then down underneath the truck and it's got two lock nuts under it and you won't be able to see it because it's back in there and you basically loosen the, the, the lock nuts and then you turn your rod in and out and you can adjust your pedal free play. That's not where the, the problem is. I'll show you here. So your free play is good. You want about, I don't know, some guys say an inch to inch and a half. Some guys say an inch and a half to two inches. But let's go ahead and start this truck up. And I'll show you what my other concern is. So I've got my pedal free play down here. I'm going to start the truck up. There's an N14 Cummins engine in here. So, I'm going to go ahead and slip this into gear. Release the parking brake. Hold the brake down. Slip it in gear. And what I'm looking for is when does the truck actually engage? If it engages somewhere in here, I'm good. I want it about halfway. This truck's not engaging there. It's engaging all the way, all the way at the top of the pedal travel. No engagement, no engagement, no engagement. Right in there is where it's engaging. Now, right in there is where it was engaging, but that's actually at the end of my pedal travel. If my truck is engaging, you know, I'm at the floor right now. Somewhere in here or halfway, I'm pretty good overall. But once I start engaging all the way up here at the top, that's no good. The clutch is out of adjustment at that point. So at that point, what we would have to do is we'd actually have to go down there and manually adjust the clutch. You have a guy come over, I think it's like a 5 8 or something like that. Some clutches are different. Um, and you have a guy push the, cl the, the clutch pedal in, hold the clutch in, pull the pressure off of it, and then you turn like a half a turn or one full turn and then figure out what it is. If it got worse, then you go the other way. You want your adjustment to be about a third to halfway off the floor. If your clutch pedal is coming all the way up and that's where you're starting to actually get your gear engagement at the top, that's not correct. The clutch needs to be adjusted. At that way, you're going to get harsh shifts and it's just going to be almost like whenever you go to put it in gear, it's wanting to jerk forward on you. The clutch is not adjusted properly. That's my tech tip of the day.